more about yesterday's theme, just very briefly. This is the Angel Hug for Wednesday, the uh, 17th of April. And um, I was just reminded, just when I sort of finished that reading, to say that um, the angels and guides find it very easy to help us with uh, finding healing practitioners, finding the right process, the right thing for now, um, guiding us into healthier eating, healthier ideas, and guiding us to the right um, practitioners. Right, so the reason for that is that um, it, there's no, uh, they're not impinging on our free will. One, because we've asked for it, and two, because it's not about us asking them to take responsibility and take over in our lives. There are certain areas of our lives where it's for our highest good to have a learning experience. We know how we all love those. And uh, so they wouldn't deprive us of that experience. However, when, it come, when we ask sincerely for help with changing diet, help me to give this up, help me to start this, help me to you know, evolve now to the next day, they can help us very easily. And they're saying that also the things that we ask for that we think are really important, um, which they take equally seriously, but we, we focus very much on those things as if they are finite problems to be solved. And they're saying the more we raise our consciousness, the more we re evolve, and the more we heal, the more we'll be able to resolve those problems, the more we'll be able to resolve those issues and challenges easily, uh, effortlessly, stresslessly, and with their help and guidance, because we'll become clearer channels and we'll be more able to hear them guiding us in the way that they are able to without affecting our free will. So I'm hoping that makes sense. I just needed to give that message. And now let's move on to the reading for today, the card for today. And I'm picking Sonia Chiquette's Ask Your Guide card and um, because it just seems to flow from <laughs> what was just uh, given to me. So uh, for Wednesday, the 17th of April, the message is regarding change and transformation oh deprivation do not deprive yourself do not allow yourself to feel deprived so the way that it's being given to me is stay in the vibration of, stay in the vibration and frequency of joy so if you feel at some point that the joy is slipping away because of this new intention that you've set this new thing that you're trying to do um, okay, sometimes there is a period of adjustment. So, for example, if we're giving up something that is really unhealthy, there might be a difficult time as we go through that transition. So stay with that and find ways, other ways, to treat yourself and to be nice to yourself so that you don't feel deprived of this thing. Because the chances are, if it's an unhealthy thing, then it will be an illusory and unhealthy sense of deprivation anyway. So they're saying, step into a different channel, step into a different flow of ideas about what is joyful so that you can feel filled up in a different way, in different ways. That's what that feels like to me as I, as I looked at as I was looking at it. And, um, but I'm also looking at these hands and they're drawing my attention to these hands and the way that they're kind of reaching down. So if you do feel that sense of deprivation, remember to ask your guides also to remind you to fill up, to remind you how to fill up with divine energy, divine love, divine light. And then the more you do that, the more you'll be attracted to healthier ways of filling yourself up. So you will find um, things like aromatherapy and long walks and taking flower remedies and eating lots of fruit and vegetables. You will find those things more joyful, dancing, singing, playing, laughing, much more joyful than the other things which we're not going to mention and affirm. So that's it really for Wednesday, um, deprivation. Um, I'm going to pick another card though because I feel as if we're not really, we're all about health this week. And it's interesting that we started off saying that we were going to talk about change and transformation and everything seems to have been about health and healing. It does totally make sense. Okay, worthiness. Know that you deserve to receive in all good ways. So this is the connection between the unhealthy habits that we sometimes take on and our feelings of unworthiness to receive good things and to have good feelings. So sometimes we need to really switch into a different way of thinking about ourselves, a different way of perceiving ourselves and what we deserve. Because being able to pamper yourself, being able to really take care of yourself in a healthy way it does have a very high frequency of self-esteem and self-love. So what about if we experiment with that today, just experiment with doing something really pampering for yourself that you wouldn't normally do. 
and you know, not something that necessarily costs money if, if there is that sense of um, financial lack or deprivation that still transitioning through because you know we're all challenged in different ways at the moment we're all working on things um, so if that is an issue find a way to do that that's low cost so something really indulgent that maybe you wouldn't usually give yourself the time to do or that you maybe wouldn't you know I don't know indulge yourself so much with just have a try just experiment with it push the boundaries of what you will allow yourself to have and um, and come back and let me know what you did and how it felt so that's worthiness I feel like I want to finish up on a card that's a little bit happier than that one so I'm just going to focus on um, what we can do to really really fill ourselves up with love self-love and worthiness today what is it Ooh, upside down <gasps> Inhale a breath of life. And I love the way that we've got the candles. And um, and also, it's interesting that that was inverted, because everything means something, and I never usually pull a card inverted. So this means some of you are not breathing. <laughs> so breathe. Take time to breathe. Sometimes when we feel unworthy, or we feel blocked, or we feel angry or frustrated with our lives, we stop breathing. We just start holding our breath and we don't always realise we're doing it and um, sometimes we need to just remind ourselves to stop what we're doing inhale deeply and today specifically because we're thinking about pampering I would say take some time off inhale deeply do something that will help you to remember to inhale deeply like yoga or stretching pilates or something like that or have a really long soak in the bath with the candles and the salt and the aromatherapy oils and the pampering and the you know have some incense burning and keep it all warm and cozy and have some music going and have one of those sessions and um, and see that as a part of your affirmation to push the envelope a little bit so that's it really I'm gonna stop suggesting things now and leave you to digest all of that and I'll be back tomorrow bye